Welcome, welcome to the Tomb of Illumination. Everything's flat earth here. Just a quick video while the house is empty and I've got the studio to myself. Uh, I want to mention a couple of things. I just had someone, you know, mention in the comments that the Sun's Down Lemma shows us the discrepancy or the, the variation in the uh, flat earth system, which I've been talking about all along. How the inner, inner center of the, of the uh, flat earth system uh, expands out, expands out from its center, so it gets a lot larger in the south. This is where the mythological stories come into it, the giants and the trolls, trolls back in the north, north mythology, Norse mythology, expand the giants out around south, because we all expand as we move south, but we can't determine it, because it's all relative to the observer. You can't just jump from one hemisphere back to the other hemisphere and figure out you were a giant or you, you'd, you'd expanded or contracted. But that's the reality of things that common folk can't, can't handle because everything in this physical world has to have some physical experience or understanding or explanation. But no, we are not physical. Nothing is actually physical. It's all in the mind. The five senses we're born into this world with the chip telling us everything's physical. But no, the meaning to life is going beyond that, finding the truth, finding there is more. There's a spiritual side and a non-physical side. This is what I try to show in my videos. So the mere fact we, we can look at the sun's analemma. You take a photograph every day at the exact same time you'll get the whole shape of the sun movement across our earth right there there's your physical proof there's a discrepancy between the north and the south it's blatantly obvious but no the human mind can't accept that no they'll listen to whatever bs is spun to them by nasa or the controlling masters paid scientists it's right there folks center north it's just like a gleason map it all expands south but that works in conjunction with the mercator map because because it's relative to the observer as he moves laterally to the south all the arcs of longitude the distances between time traveled are all the same because you're relative to that location. Understand? Arcs of longitude are all equal in time travelled because we're in the ether, the moving ether, which is above and around the earth. It's not the earth. The earth is fixed and stationary. So if you're expanding as you move south, your distance across arc of long longitude because you're bigger it's just as quick as if you were small traveling a small area the small distance in your arc of longitude this is a great discovery of mine been known for thousands of years though but flushed out of the human brain through indoctrination and your education system and don't forget i've exposed and everybody needs to get this out there that the magnetic fields do not cross at the tropics. They do not pass over the equator. Just like the, the two star rotations do not meet, there's a gap where Orion's belt passes through. The winds do not pass over. They spin back around. Meteorology knows this. Pilots know there's an updraft. You're crossing the tropics. There's the two systems. You get turbulence. Science knows oceanographers that's the word, know that the tides don't cross, they have their circulations, so why not the magnetic field? Well it doesn't cross, it does not. It comes over, it's very weak, and the scientists and that have failed to detect the fact that it doesn't cross, it just comes straight down at the tropics, through the earth, crosses over 120 degree divergence, then goes up over again at the poles, 
to do the same thing. That's the infinity symbol. Been around for thousands of years, if not millions. We've been through millions of cycles on this earth. And understanding that the earth, it's related to the human brain. The human head is basically what we're living in. If you can imagine that. Earth is nothing but a massive brain. And we're a smidget. Smell inside of it. <clears throat> so this needs to get out. It completely destroys the globe. The globe's, you, you, you know then it, the whole globe theory is a con uh, to control your mind, to control all the, all the systems, GPS, airplane flights, any travel across earth. They control all these lovely islands, Ascension Island, St. Diego Garcia. Remember, the Malaysian flight went down and landed in Diego Garcia, they won't tell you that. MI5, MI6, um, CIA, they control that island. You want to look into what they're doing there and they couldn't detect the aeroplane that was apparently had gone down in the Indian Ocean, not far off from them. What a load of garbage. It landed there and murdered the people. Apparently took some patent, took control of some patent from the people that were on the plane. Uh, so they control the lovely island, they control Antarctica, you know, they tr control the north as well. And if there was some real, if, this is the thing with the, the, the war that's going on in Ukraine at the moment. If Russia really was <coughs> an enemy of the states, they would expose the whole NASA going to the moon bullshit. So there's something real dodgy going on here, guys. It's whether it's depopulation or just getting the tax man to pay for all this new military gear for the industrial genocidal complex that the cabal control. Um, I don't know why Putin's not coming out, or the Russian scientists. They, they were making the rockets for NASA to play their games going up and down. There's proof that the, uh, the shuttles landed in Ascension Island in the late 80s. Uh, you had all the gear there, the massive runway, all the satellite dishes, ground-based satellite dishes. Uh, you know, the, the Russians know you can't get out, that's why they never went, never made up the story. It's only the West that makes up all these stories. But anyway, let's get back to this video I was supposed to be talking about. Uh, planets. Planets are male entities, not female. I was saying they're the electrons, the female entities, but no. They are part of the Milky Way and I've since discovered that all the Milky Way controls all the male entities on our Earth. They are part, because of the ecliptic plane, we come back to zero point, the black hole, where the sun is sitting on the horizon, that would leave all these other planets as the male entities. So, what we need to do is consider, consider this as a cone, but we see it as an arc. We see it like this from us, from our, from our perspective. We are always... Zenith, 90 degrees to our arc, that's how we see the layers, the atmospheric layers, the seven layers of expansion to heaven you can say, and there's seven layers of contraction within the earth, right down to granite. So planets are male entities, not female, their moons are the female. Planets are the suns and sun-in-laws. Their moons would be their wives and daughters in ancient myths and legends. So all those stories, they're not talking about places on earth. If you're relating all these stories, mythological stories, philosophy, ancient philosophy and that to the actual earth and religion, you're a dodo. You haven't woken up. You're a long way from it. If you think when they talk about Israel, it's a place in the Middle East or, you know, you know what I'm talking about, then you're a real sucker. All these stories refer to what's up there, above us, the non-physical world. 
it's all cosmological astrophysics as Santos calls it it's all celestial okay so the Milky Way coming in it comes it's a separate entity from the rest of the vortex the whole vortex of creation at the center of the earth and above the Arctic is female see the female as the male comes into it like this it comes over from the tropics because it's the warm that gets drawn into the cold this is where the cold plasma sun is created so it comes to zero point just about nothing which is the black hole you have the sun on its horizon this is the non-physical the metaphysical we don't see any of that all we get is a big sun image out in the tropic region where we are bear in mind see the magnetic field how it drops down to the earth like this and crosses over and back up down across, along the ground over and down again these two vertical lines here are what's mentioned in religion the banks of the Jordan that's what they're referring to these the banks of the Jordan and it was something else too the oh, I had that this morning on my mind I can't think what it was now uh, the two no that's not going to come back to me so all these old stories are all talking about the flat earth model and man's spiritual ascension his awakening his second birth so there's, there's your cone you can look at it that way there's the sun down there at the black hole I've only got so many colours, that's why I've only used these three, is it? One, four. Cone of frequencies. It's all about sound. This is why young children, babies born, you, you play them uh, classical music. They've come from that place. Beautiful music, sound. My little nephew, he's there doing... Like ballet, he's never seen ballet or anything before. He's only one and a half. My daughter's finally playing him some classical music, and he's there doing like movements of ballet. And when the when the um, percussion stuff comes into it, you know the low, he wants to start beating the drum. He gets down the floor and starts tapping the floor and getting up and stomping his feet, and he's going like this. <laughs> it's it's amazing to watch. Mm. It's all about sound coming out, coming out of the black hole. The black hole is the amplifier. And all that sound that comes out it creates the sun. The perfect resonance of life on earth, a whole realm through the sun. Perfect resonance creates life. Okay. So the sound comes out like this and weakens or you know changes but then it's only to the uh, Tropic of Cancer then there's the mirror image from the south that comes back this way there's another great discovery of mine there's two Milky Ways one's flowing in from the tropics to the north or the north to the tropics the other one's coming from the south over to the Tropic of Cancer, uh, Capricorn it's to Cancer, and this one over to Capricorn. And they move mirror like. As this turns, it's moving this whole image all the way around. There's always an image out to the south, though, because this is a central image, a central projector. So there's an image out this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. We don't live in the Milky Way. They tell you we live in the Milky Way because we've all come from the Milky Way, but we don't live in the Milky Way, just like you don't live in your mother's umbilical cord or womb we are separated we are the created we're not the creator the daughter isn't the mother it's so simple so is this but people haven't got the brains to flip and <laughs> see the light time to wake up everybody the flex of the ecliptic plane up and down like a a moving jellyfish down and out up and in, down and out, up and in, or down and out, up and in, then it's 
down and out, and up and in. Here's the bat. Hollywood knows that, Batman symbol. <coughs> That's all I've got for you in this little quick video while the house was empty. Cheers guys. Give us a likes up, share it. <laughs>